Hi, and welcome to Tutorial Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to add events to control the behaviors of your system at different points in time. So, here I have a basic two reaction system where x goes to x1 and x1 goes to x2. Here are our two rate laws defined by the rate constants k1 and k2. So, when I run this, we can see that x doesn't change. So, a as time progresses, x1 is produced and eventually it reaches its steady state value of about 1.0, defined by our rate constants. So let's say we want to simulate a major influx of x at time 50. So in order to do that, we go at time equals 50, actually time is greater than 50. This is because it has to occur at all times more than that colon x equals, let's say we want to become 10. So now when I run this, oh, I put the greater than sign in the wrong place. There we go. Now when I run this, you can see that the model behaves the same way as before. Like so, progresses to a steady state of 1. But when time 50 is reached, the concentration of x1 shoots up to reach the new steady state of 5. So then let's say we want to speed up the second reaction at time 100. We can add another event saying at time is greater than 100. K1, or let's do K2. K2 equals 1.0. Now when I run this, we can see that we have the same beginning, it shoots up to 5, at time 100 it drops back down to our steady state of 1. Thank you for watching, and now you know how to add time-based events to your Tellurium systems.